40,000 years ago, another kind of human walked the earth. They weren't like us, but they weren't completely different either. Their bones were thicker, their muscles denser, their skulls larger. Inside those skulls, a brain possibly just as powerful as ours, maybe even more advanced in certain ways. These were the Neanderthals, a species of prehistoric humans who thrived across Europe and parts of Asia for over 400,000 years. They weren't just primitive hunters. They were warriors of the Ice Age. They built shelters, crafted weapons sharper than anything seen before, and hunted massive beasts like mammoths and woolly rhinos. But what truly sets them apart is something even more unexpected. They had culture. They cared for their sick. They buried their dead. And they may have even painted some of the world's oldest cave art. By all logic, they should have survived. They should still be here, walking among us. But today, they are gone. No signs of mass killings. No evidence of war. No sudden cataclysmic event that wiped them out overnight. They simply disappeared. Why? How did these powerful prehistoric humans, who ruled their world for hundreds of thousands of years, suddenly vanish? Science has uncovered an unsettling truth. And the real reason the Neanderthals went extinct might not be what you think. Scientific studies have shown that Neanderthals had a superior physique compared to modern humans. While they were slightly shorter than Homo sapiens, their muscles were 20 to 30 percent denser and more powerful. A 2014 study published in Nature found that Neanderthal bones were significantly denser than those of modern humans, making them less prone to fractures despite frequent encounters with large, dangerous animals. The differences weren't just in their bone structure. Their muscular strength was far beyond that of Homo sapiens, especially in their upper bodies. Their powerful arms allowed them to wield spears and stone axes with greater force while their strong legs enabled them to move quickly across rugged terrain. A study published in Proceedings of the Royal Society B, 2019, suggested that Neanderthals could walk more than 30 kilometers per day while carrying weapons, food, and even weaker group members without exhaustion. But perhaps the most crucial factor in their dominance for hundreds of thousands of years was their ability to adapt to the brutal climate of the Ice Age. They were built for the cold, Masters of survival in the Ice Age, Homo sapiens evolved in the warm, tropical regions of Africa, while Neanderthals were born to survive the freezing winters of prehistoric Europe. Their bodies functioned like natural furnaces. Large nasal cavities helped warm and humidify air before it reached their lungs, preventing damage from cold air. Stocky bodies with shorter limbs minimized heat loss, similar to the modern-day Inuit people whose ancestors adapted to freezing conditions. A thicker layer of subcutaneous fat provided better insulation against the cold. But Neanderthals didn't just rely on their genetics to survive. They also used technology and skills to protect themselves. They made clothing from animal hides. Evidence from cut marks on animal bones suggests they developed techniques for making warm garments early on. They built shelters from mammoth bones. Archaeological sites in Ukraine show that they constructed tents using giant animal bones to withstand blizzards. They mastered fire. They knew how to maintain fires overnight and even used ash to shield flames from strong winds. If Neanderthals were so well equipped to survive, then why did they disappear? Did Homo sapiens wipe them out? One of the most popular theories is that Homo sapiens exterminated Neanderthals in a survival war. However, there is no solid evidence of large-scale warfare between the two species. No mass graves or battlefield remain suggest direct conflict. Many archaeological sites indicate that Neanderthals and Homo sapiens coexisted for long periods, possibly even sharing cultural exchanges or trading tools. Neanderthals didn't completely vanish. They merged with Homo sapiens. A 2010 study in Nature revealed that 1-2% to 2 of the DNA in modern Europeans and Asians comes from Neanderthals, proving that instead of being wiped out, they were absorbed through interbreeding. If Neanderthals weren't slaughtered, then what caused their downfall? Was climate change the killer? Some scientists believe Neanderthals went extinct due to climate change. But this theory also has flaws. 
They had already survived multiple ice ages. If climate were the main cause, they should have disappeared much earlier, not just 40,000 years ago. If the climate wiped them out, why did Homo sapiens survive? Clearly, climate alone wasn't enough to explain their extinction. Were they less intelligent than Homo sapiens? Neanderthals had an average brain size of 1,500 cubic centimeters, larger than the 1,350 cubic centimeters of Homo sapiens. They hunted in organized groups, crafted sophisticated tools, and may have even developed their own language. Some cave paintings in Spain, dated to 65,000 years ago, may have been created by Neanderthals, evidence of their imagination, creativity, and cultural depth. So if they weren't killed off, weren't outcompete by climate, and weren't less intelligent, why do they disappear? Scientists now lean toward a far more chilling theory. Neanderthals didn't go extinct due to war, disaster, or stupidity. They vanished because they stopped having enough children. A 2019 study published in PLOS 1 simulated Neanderthal population dynamics and found that if their birth rate dropped by just 4%, their numbers could have collapsed entirely within a few thousand years. No war, no plague, no catastrophe. They simply faded away generation after generation until none remained. But what caused their birth rate to decline? Did they truly disappear? Or but does a part of them still live on within us? The answer may shock you. One of the biggest reasons may have been the longer reproductive cycle of Neanderthals. Let's compare. A Homo sapiens woman can give birth roughly every three years. If Neanderthals had a longer reproductive cycle, similar to large primates today, they might have only given birth every five to six years. At first glance, this may not seem like a big deal. But over thousands of years, the difference was massive. But it wasn't just slower reproduction. Neanderthals also faced higher mortality rates. A Homo sapiens newborn had a better chance of survival thanks to stronger social networks, where families could exchange food and help each other raise children. A Neanderthal newborn, born into the frigid ice age, faced a much tougher reality. With temperatures dropping below minus 20 degrees Celsius minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit, an infant without enough food, warmth, or a large community to support them might not survive more than a few days. While Homo sapiens built large, cooperative groups, Neanderthals lived in smaller, isolated ones. If a pregnant Neanderthal woman died from the cold or starvation, she didn't just represent one lost life. She represented an entire future generation that never got the chance to be born. If Neanderthals lost a few members each winter, their groups couldn't recover fast enough and each death carved deeper into their already shrinking population. They didn't need a plague or a war. Every brutal winter may have been enough to steal away just enough newborns to make recovery impossible. But even if they survived the cold, one final factor sealed their fate. They were absorbed into Homo sapiens. Neanderthals didn't vanish overnight. They interbred with Homo sapiens, and part of them still lives on in our DNA. Genetic studies show that 1-2% to 2 of the DNA in modern Europeans and Asians comes from Neanderthals. This means that instead of being wiped out, they were blended into our species. But here's the problem. With Homo sapiens vastly outnumbering Neanderthals, their genes became diluted over generations. Neanderthals weren't killed. They weren't exterminated. They simply vanished within us. No one expected Neanderthals to disappear like this. They didn't lose to Homo sapiens in a single event. They lost over the course of thousands of years against an invisible enemy, time itself. Population decline happened slowly, but steadily. Each generation had fewer children. Each winter took away just enough lives to make recovery impossible. And over thousands of years, they were gone. The most terrifying part? Humanity might be next. Chart decreasing global birth rates are plummeting. Japan, 1.3 births per woman, below the replacement rate. South Korea, 0.8 births per woman, a record low. Europe, most developed nations are below 1.5 births per woman. If this trend continues, are we walking the same path as the Neanderthals? We could be the next Neanderthals. Fire, what do you think about this theory? 
Could humanity face the same fate? Drop your thoughts below. Rocket fire. Neanderthals live in a harsh world where survival depended on adaptations to extreme cold, predatory threats, and scarce food resources. Some of their survival traits are still present in modern humans today. For over 300,000 years, Neanderthals battled countless bacteria and viruses that Homo sapiens had never encountered. When the two species interbred, Neanderthal genes that protected against disease were passed down to us. Microscope, a 2016 study in Nature found that several crucial immune system genes in modern humans originated from Neanderthals. Microscope these genes helped fight off viral infections like hepatitis, influenza, and even HIV. Why Debbie Checkmark thanks to Neanderthals, modern humans are better equipped to combat certain diseases found in European and Asian environments. As Homo sapiens migrated from Africa into colder, darker regions, they needed to absorb more vitamin D from sunlight. This is where Neanderthal genes became useful. DNA Neanderthal genes contributed to lighter skin and thicker hair, allowing for better vitamin D absorption in low-light environments. If you have thicker hair or fair skin, there's a good chance you inherited this from your Neanderthal ancestors. Surprisingly, some studies suggest Neanderthal DNA may influence personality traits. Microscope, a 2017 study in Science Advances found that some Neanderthal gene variants may affect how modern humans process emotions and social interactions. Chart decreasing people with higher Neanderthal DNA levels tend to be more introverted, less socially engaged. This could be because Neanderthals lived in small, isolated groups rather than large social networks like Homo sapiens. However, not all Neanderthal traits have been beneficial. Some of their genetic legacy comes with serious drawbacks. Warning negative inheritances from Neanderthals. Some Neanderthal genes have been linked to an increased risk of depression, anxiety, and PTSD. This may be because Neanderthals needed to remain highly alert to survive in dangerous environments. Small blue diamond in modern society this hyper-awareness manifests as mental health disorders rather than survival advantages. Certain Neanderthal genes are suspected to reduce fertility rates in modern humans. Chart decreasing this could partly explain why birth rates are declining in countries with high Neanderthal DNA percentages. Imagine a world where Neanderthals never went extinct, but instead continued to exist alongside Homo sapiens as a separate species. We wouldn't be the only human species ruling the planet. A Neanderthal civilization might have emerged with a unique culture, technology, and even a different way of thinking. They might have developed their own social structures, languages, and religions, completely distinct from ours. But in reality, we will never know how their society might have evolved. One thing is certain, Neanderthals never truly disappeared. They live on inside us. A part of you is Neanderthal. Neanderthals never truly disappeared. They live on in billions of people today, influencing how we experience the world. So next time you look in the mirror, remember, you're a part Neanderthal. What do you think? If Neanderthals were still here as a separate species, how would the world be different? Drop your thoughts in the comments.